Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain how to generate electricity from urine. So in various public places like uh, halls, theaters and uh, colleges, schools, what we are doing is uh, we have been dumping our uh, urine to the nearer water bodies or uh, drainage and we have been polluting the nearer water bodies. It ultimately causes water pollution. So generally by using this method we can generate electricity from that urine and we can save the nearer water bodies and we can avoid water pollution. Okay. Now we can see how this process works. Uh, have a look at this chart. Okay, you can understand how how the electricity can be generated from urine by simply seeing this chart. Okay, have a look at this. Okay, this is this is the layout layout of the experiment. This one is the urine closet, and these are the pipelines where the urine goes. Okay, imagine it is a urine closet. Why was our urine? So the urine when we flash the urine along with the water get flashed. So uh, generally, we know the density of uh, urine is slightly higher than that of urine. So, when we store the urine in the container, means the water is on the opposite of the urine and the urine gets lower side of the container. So, by using this density difference concept, we are splitting up the water and the urine. Okay. So, the urine along with the water we flashed is coming through this pipeline, and by using the density difference concept, the urine gets deposited in the, this vessel and the water gets deposited in the separate vessel okay so we by using the principle of electrolysis we are generating electricity so what the electrolysis done okay have a look at this the urine the separate we have separated we are now separated urine and waste water so the urine will be stored in the anodic region and the water will be stored in the cathodic region so we we tend to pass the elect we tend to pass the electricity along the electrodes okay now have a look at this this chart okay the, this is the anodic region and this one is the cathodic region the anodic region is full of urine and the cathodic region is full of water so what we're gonna do is now we pass the electricity of 0.7 volt per 1 liter of urine in these electrodes so the ions present in the urine get dissipated so urine contains uh, many ions like phosphate calcium potassium extra so the hydrogen ions also contained in the urine the hydrogen ions get dissipated and the hydrogen ions get moved towards the anodic region oh sorry the hydrogen ions in the cathodic region moves to the cathodic region so the movement of ions takes place okay we know very well the cathodic region is full of water so the hydrogen ions dissipated from the anodic region will be deposited on the cathodic region so the cathodic region is full of water so the hydrogen ions will be deposited on the opposite of the water so the top layer of the water will be full of uh, hydrogen ions so what we're going to do is have a look at this this one is the water the dissipated hydrogen ions will be deposited on the top layer of the water so we are using separate setup for compressing and we, are, we have a separate setup for sucking and compressing the hydrogen ions so these compressed hydrogen ions will be stored separately in the containers these containers will be act as an input for uh, generators these generators will produce electricity we can uh, also pro we can also use these hydrogen hydrogen filled uh, gas cylinders for uh, running automobiles etc 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 so the okay this is the process okay what is the advantage of using this process we can uh, also generate electricity from uh, various other methods and we can also generate uh, we can also produce hydrogen from various other methods so why are we going for this method okay the main uh, okay first of all i'm going to say what are the main advantages of this method okay. uh, first of all uh, it is an eco friendly method uh, it is a uh, the pollute it will be no pollutant or no pollution in this method okay as uh, the input is a uh, hydrogen, the <coughs> excess source will be a water vapor. So there is a uh, no emission and there is uh, no pollution to the no, no pollution to the environment. Okay. Then uh, there is a uh, no air pollution and there is no water pollution also. How um, generally we are uh, disposing the urine to the water bodies, nearer water bodies, or we are polluting the nearer water bodies. Uh, we can also avoid the uh, water pollution also. But how? Yeah. We are uh, leaving, dumping uh, our waste urine to the near water bodies and we are polluting water bodies. So, so it causes ultimately water pollution. So by using this method, we are generating electricity and uh, waste urine will be, the high ions or the hydrogen ions only be used for the producing electricity. So remaining ions be present in the urine, be as it is present in the urine. So we are already, uh, we already split up on the water. So there is uh, no any uh, hazardous content in this urine. So we can use this for uh, guarding purposes. So we can uh, eliminate the water pollution.